Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. As you can see, we're outside and you see all the parts and pieces right here of my new product that I got. Something new to play with, obviously, in the water, as you can probably tell. Uh, and this is one of those uh, little paddle boards, but this is obviously an inflating one, which I'm sure you can tell by the uh, pump right there. Uh, so here's a handful of the parts. Uh, we've got all this right here is the paddle. It does have some uh, markings on it for measuring. Uh, so for length and everything. Uh, right here, that is a quick release type thing so that you can adjust the length of it depending on how tall you are. Uh, you, of course, have a 10 liter dry bag. It does come with this strap here to use over your shoulder. Uh, obviously, there is your nice little shark fin that will attach to the bottom of this. Um, that goes along with the little ones there. Hopefully, those are going to straighten out for me once I get them done. Uh, we then have a few smaller pieces here. And uh, let's see, we've got the, the strap that attaches to your leg or your wrist uh, to keep it from floating away if you happen to fall off. Uh, you've got a little handle here. I believe this is for the... Um, for the uh, check valve or just valve whatever uh, so that you can um, make sure to uh, have it open or closed for when you're inflating or deflating it obviously there is the user manual and uh, it also comes with a little dry bag for obviously your phone uh, so that helps too as you can see this is by Susie Bay and then we have a backpack style carry bag um, I do believe it also has it has a handle there on the top it has shoulder straps so that you can carry it on your back and all of this stuff will fit inside there but I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out and we're gonna go ahead and fill it up take a look at it see what it looks like when it's blown up um, now there are a couple of different ones on the site uh, the site has uh, they're called different colors, but they're also slightly different shapes. The one I have is uh, fairly specific. Um, I like the way that it looked. There are some other ones that have a slightly different um, shape to them, and I'll explain that once this is opened up. All right, everybody, well, I've got it all filled up, as you can see here. And uh, I've got the yeah, little fin here on the back. Now the fin, the way it slides on, it just slides in from the back, or from the front there. And then it's got this little keeper. Just take and push that in, it snaps in. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back out because I'm gonna flip it over. Uh, and these little things right here, your little ones here, uh, the foam pads right there, I believe somebody dropped the ball because I'm pretty sure those are supposed to go over top of these to keep them from being bent over like that. So uh, somebody kind of screwed up there, but uh, I think once I leave this out and kind of work with it a little bit, they're, they're soft. You can straighten them back out. So not too horrible. It should be something relatively easily fixed. Uh, this obviously is not perfectly straight, but it's pretty good. Um, I'll try maybe straightening it out just a little bit. Um, it's, it's also plastic, but this is like a hard plastic, whereas this is more of a rubber plastic. Now, as you can see, the one that I got has the wood kind of finish to it. Um, this one has uh, a little bit narrower of a back end than some of the other models do. 
Uh, they're all considered the same one. They're just considered different colors, but the shape of them is a little different. This one, as you can see, is a fairly steep or sharp point. The other ones are rounded off a little bit more. So uh, they, uh, you know, it's just a, just a slightly different effect and look. Uh, but otherwise, I'm sure they're, for the most part, all pretty much the same. And then we flip it over. And here's the top. So at the front, you see you've got your, your little stretch bungee cord there where you can tie some stuff down there. Um, matter of fact, your little 10 liter bag, the dry bag can easily, I'm sure, fit in there. And uh, it's a good way to kind of keep it safe and with you so it doesn't fall off and go floating away. You have a, a handhold right here. Uh, the main kind of mat area where you're going to be standing and instead of just the basic plastic, it's kind of uh, plush feeling, sort of uh, foam-like, but it's very, very thin. Uh, so it's, you know, it's not like some big padding. Uh, this thing isn't going to be that bad though anyhow, obviously, since it's uh, air-filled. And you got multiple D-rings. Uh, you got one on either side up at the front here of, the, of this piece. You got a couple more a little further back, and uh, those are going to be... Well, you could use them for a few things, I'm sure, but uh, the one thing they show it for is when you're putting on uh, the strap uh, for your ankle or wrist. That way you uh, have it tied to the tied to the uh, paddleboard and it's not going to go floating off if you happen to uh, jump in the water or fall or whatever. You're not going to lose it and, uh, you know, that way you keep it with you. The back end, it also has another uh, handle. And uh, this one has a little bit of room to it. And then you've also got the valve. Uh, now, as you can see, you can deflate and inflate. There's a little pin in there that you push up or down. If you leave it up, that's how you fill it. Push it down, that lets it go out. And as it says here, I'm sure that's a little awkward, but it's 15 PSI, which is equal to one bar. And that is the maximum pressure that we're at. Uh, right now, I have it filled up to about 12. It did take quite a while to fill this up. Um, so if you happen to have an air pump, um, an electric one that you can maybe, maybe if you can fill this up at your car before you get out to the actual water, um, rather than going clear out to the water with the inflator, um, it would probably be better at least to get most of the air in it, and then you can use this maybe to top it off. Uh, the hose right here has a screw end. And this is roughly about the same size as um, what's on a garden hose. So uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna try and use this, which you probably have to, so you have to have a way to adapt this to your to your electric pump. But you need this end right here. Let's see if we can get it to focus on this. And uh, yeah, so that end, as you can see, it it has that kind of catch on it. It has to snap down and lock on because it seals around this edge right here. That's rubber, rubber gasket that uh, seals it so that you can fill it up. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty, pretty sturdy. I've step on it here and uh, I don't want to be at the back too much to squish those, but it's solid. Um, I mean, you can tell it's not like wood or like a uh, surfboard. It's not as solid as that. There is some squish to it. You can maybe, I don't know if you can actually see it kind of squishing under my toes, but if you focus a little bit, you can feel it kind of squish a little. But it's definitely something that's going to uh, hold me up and, uh, you know, let me have a nice little time sitting on the water. Uh, now, this is rated roughly for uh, 300 pounds, uh, give or take. I'll double check. And uh, if I'm wrong, I'll throw that on here. Um, as for the length, I can't remember how long it is. I know it is six inches thick. Um, and the width, I believe, was a, between 30 and 33 inches. I'll put that here um, so that you have those dimensions as well. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to check this out, of course, you can go to the uh, Amazon site. We'll have a link to that in the description below. And, um, yeah, you know, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the social media. And uh, there's a PayPal link if you want to help out the channel. Otherwise, I think that'll do it for me, guys. Um, yeah, don't forget, leave that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Check that uh, or hit that little bell icon so you know when I've got videos coming out. And uh, 
you know, we'll call it a day. My name's Cougar. This is The World of Me, another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.